One second and boom, bomb explodes. But how long was that? Sure, it's a second, but what exactly is a second? Sure, you could attempt to estimate the duration by counting the same river over and over again, but you're never exactly on time. Essentially, this is the problem with measurement. How certain are you that your measurement is correct? The higher your certainty, the better. But is absolute certainty possible? How can we even fathom generating a completely objective measurement when all science is empirical and based on observation? In order to answer this question, let's talk about the second and its history. At first, the second was defined as 1 86,400th of a mean solar day. A problem arose, however, with this definition when discrepancies in the Earth's rotation could not be adequately accounted for. In order to combat that, the General Conference on Weights and Measures, or the CBGM, I know, it's French, decided to use the tropical year. Yet, it seemed absurd to adopt this definition because experiments had already shown that basing the second on atomic phenomena was already more easily reproducible. Seven years later, the scientific community let cesium take its place as the second defining element. According to the Bureau of International Weights and Measures, or BIPM, yep, Still French, the second is now defined as 9,192,631,770 periods of the radiation corresponding to the transition between two hyperfine levels of the ground state of the cesium-133 atom. We should probably unpack that definition just a little bit. Cesium is used because its atomic structure is pretty sweet. In particular, the inner shell of a cesium atom is similar to xenon, that being it is perfectly symmetrical and has zero angular momentum. Therefore, the lone electron that falls on the outer shell has no fine structure, which actually means something to a physicist, but we're not gonna worry about that in this video. There is, however, a large magnetic influence due to the qualities of the nucleus of the cesium-133 atom. And this gives the electron in the outer shell a hyperfine structure, which for us just means that there is a binary set of states where the nuclear and electron spins either agree or disagree. The periods of radiation corresponding to the transition between these two states is just the period of the wave that is emitted when the electron changes between these two hyperfine states. In terms of measurement, this is an incredibly accurate measurement. In fact, the FOCS-1 atomic clock in Switzerland has an uncertainty of one second in 30 million years. Even better than that, the Katori Laboratory at the University of Tokyo in Japan houses an optical lattice clock that looks to provide an even better definition for the second, having an uncertainty of one second in 30 billion years. That's an error of one second in a period of more than twice the estimated age of the observable universe. The definition as it stands may not be completely absolute, but it is so very precise that we can start to use it to define other types of measurement. For instance, the definition of a second is so good that the meter is defined by the CPGM as the length of the path light travels in a vacuum over the time interval of around 3.33564 times 10 to the negative ninth seconds. So even though objectivity may be ideal and unattainable, we can get very, very close. And that's all I have for you today in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos and take the poll to tell me what topics you want to see next time. As always, I'm Nathan, this is Chalk, and I will see you next time.